کاری ام تردینا کارم با آسان دکات با یال لام شیرینا کاب کاری ذهنم با شنی دور دروانم هر کسی کم خوش بوده سودی کم با میوانم هر کسی کم خوش بوده سودی کم با میوانم بکارو چالاکی خوی زومی دور بی نکیمن با خیرایی دروات بوی دیکم با میوانیار بام دور بی نارست و خو پاشان با خوش ویستی دکاری نگفتو گو دکاری نگفتو گو Kids, do you know that yesterday my mom and my dad talked about the U.S. Consul General? And they said that he really liked my program and that he wanted to be my guest. But kids, why don't I become his guest of his house? Come, me and my program and my binoculars can be his guest in his house. Kids, will you come with us too? Let's go. Binoculars, let's go together with the kids. Binoculars, my binoculars. Take me to the U.S. Council. One, two, three. Hi. Hi, Yar. I was just watching one of your videos. Oh, thank you. I'm really happy that I'm here with you. I am so happy to have you here with me too. Thank you for coming. It's really an honor to be on. And thanks your for program. inviting me th for the second time. Now we're best friends. We are. I like that. Thank you for saying that. Yes, thank you. I'm really happy that I'm here today with you. It's wonderful, and I'm really happy that you're here. It's so nice to see you again. Thank you, and we'll talk about great things. I hope so. Let's do it. Great things. Okay. Can you introduce yourself to me and to the kids? Of course. Hi, kids. My name is Robert Palladino, and I am the United States Consul General here in Erbil. Wow, it's a great job. Well, why did you choose this job? Well, because it's probably the best job in the whole world. You know what my job is, Yar? What is it? My job is to help make friends uh, for the United States and to help bring the people of the Kurdistan region and the American people closer together. And so it's a great honor and it's such, it's such a wonderful thing to yeah, do. Yeah, that's a great thing to do. Thank you so much. That's great. Uh, what are the council's job in Kurdistan? Uh, like, what do they do a lot? Well, one thing we have to do is we have to meet all kinds of people. And I'm so lucky, of course, I have to meet, you know, the political leaders and things like that. But I get to meet all kinds of other people, and that's part of the best part of the job. So I try very hard to meet, you know, university students maybe people that are trying to start businesses and i get to meet you which has been one of the highlights of me working here yeah and i'm I, in my job i get to meet other people too and even like you too that's true um because i am a guest on your program yars guest right yes <laughs> is your job hard do you struggle with it well you know sometimes uh, there are challenges that we have to struggle through but there's so many positive things on a, that, that, that it makes everything much better. Yeah, but why don't you guys have a lot of activities for kids? Ah, well, it's, we are probably a little bit more focused on older people, but that, you're right. We should do more for children, too. And one of the things we have when you get a little bit older, because I think you would be absolutely perfect, we have what we call cultural and educational exchange programs where we pick people that we think are going to be leaders in the Kurdistan region and we send them to the United States on exchange programs and they get to meet lots of different kinds of people, do very interesting things, and build stronger ties between us. Great, and good leaders start from childhood. What would you say to Kurdish kids so that they can become good leaders? Well. 
I think you got to have a, a strong moral compass, right? You have to know what's right, you have to know what's wrong, and you have to keep, keep focused on what is right. And then you have to work hard too, uh, but have fun along the way. And of course, being from the United States, I would encourage all the children in the Kurdistan region, the best that they can, learn English, right? Uh, yes, because English is really important. Uh, we're, we're lucky. English really is a, a global language, and you can, you can go almost anywhere and talk, speak to almost anybody, and so long as you've got English, you're, you're able to communicate. Yes, and I know English and Kurdish, and I translate books. Do you like books? I love books, and I know you translate books. You do such a good job translating American books, Thank you. too. Do you have any suggestions where I can translate a book? Hmm. Well, um, have you ever read The Cat in the Hat? Yes, I know. You know that story? Yeah, I know it. Oh, that would be an amazing one to translate. Okay, it's... I'll find the book and I'll translate it. Oh, very good. Thank you. And now I'll cha I'll say you I'll tell you a riddle. Oh, okay. Are you good at riddles? <sighs> no, but I'm gonna try. Okay. Okay, you can <laughs> Let's try. Let's do it. So why do witches wear name tags? Oh boy. So they. I don't know. Why? So that they know which witch is which. I thought a witch witch would be in there somewhere. Yes. All right. Very good. Good. Do you have any kids? I have two daughters right now, and they're teenagers, believe it or not. So they're a little older than you, and you are a sister, but I have two. Absolutely. Uh, how old are they? Uh, and what are their names? Their names are Isabella and Gabriella, but we call them Izzy and Gabby. And Izzy is 16 and will soon be 17, and Gabby just had her birthday and just turned 15. Wow, that's great. Can I become friends with them? I would hope you would. I think it would be wonderful if you could be their friends. Okay, do you ever read books for your kids? I do, and I just did. I was home back in the United States quite recently, and I'll confess, we read some books together and it was actually a children's book too because it's one we all love yeah children's books are great they have a lot of fun words in it and fun activities that the characters do absolutely they go through little problems usually right little struggles and yes. they have to solve things and it can be really interesting like I we agree. said every story has a struggle with and it has a problem with it you are so right you are so right yeah uh, so can you read a story for me Sure. Okay. Uh, would you like to tell, tell you a story? Yes. Okay. Um, one that I liked when I was, was much younger? Yes. What, okay. What was your favorite story? My favorite story was a story called Where the Wild Things Are. Would you like me to tell it to you? Yes, but I've never heard of that one. Well, it was written in 1963, a long time ago, by a man named Maurice Sendak. And the, he also drew the pictures and the pictures are outrageously interesting. So I encourage you to check it out. Okay, I'll check it out. Would you like to hear about the story? Yes. Okay, it's about a little boy and the boy's name is Max. And Max, one night, puts on a wolf suit, a costume, and he proceeds in his house to make mischief. He does all kinds of naughty things like hang clothes across the, uh, the, uh, the room and make a mess and hangs his teddy bear by a rope. He chases the family dog around. Well, that's something really bad. Well, he's being pretty bad and guess what happens? His mother calls him a wild thing. And then he, you know what he says back to his mother? What? He says, I will eat you up. And she gets angry and sends him to his bedroom without any supper. And that night, in his bedroom, a forest begins to grow. But how? And it grows. Trees everywhere and vines are hanging from the sky. And the world is filled with trees and an ocean rolls up right next to this forest with a sailboat. And he climbs into the boat and he sails 
through the night and day and in and out of weeks and for almost a year. And he arrives at where the wild things are. Does his mother even know? His mother doesn't know. He's at the land where the wild things are. And Yar, I have to tell you, these things are ferocious. They're taller than a house. They've got heads like this big and huge eyes and teeth. And they roar terrible roars and they gnash terrible teeth. And they show terrible claws and roll terrible eyes. And Max says, be still. And he stares at their big yellowy eyes and uses a magic trick to tame them. Well, if I were Max, I would be really scared. Max is a wild thing, I think, underneath. Yeah. And the wild things, they're afraid. And they say, Max is, is the wildest thing of all, and they name him king of the wild things. And then Max yells, let the wild rumpus start. Do you know what a rumpus is? What is it? It's a commotion. It's a lot of chaos. And, and Max leads these wild things stomping through the forest and swinging from the trees and howling up at the sky. And it goes crazy like this. And then he gets tired and he yells, stop. And he says, wild things go to sleep without supper. And then Max feels lonely and misses being someplace where he is loved. And then all of a sudden he starts to smell delicious foods and he decides he no longer wants to be king of the wild things. So what does he do? He says goodbye. He waves goodbye to the wild things and they say, Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And they're very sad. But Max sails back through uh, the night and day and in and out of weeks and for almost a year until he arrives in his bedroom. And in his bedroom is his supper. And his supper is still hot. But he sailed for a year. How? Aha, I think, here's what I think. I think Max imagined it. I think he used his imagination. Maybe he fell asleep, but I think he imagined going to where the wild things are. And I think probably he never left his house. But that doesn't matter. Imagination's still pretty powerful, don't you think? Yeah. I think so too. You can imagine everything. And you need to sometimes, especially when reading stories, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. It because helps. you really need it. I agree. And we were talking about books, mm -hmm. and I have a really good plan. So my yeah. plan is, my plan is this: I drew it in a picture. Oh, okay. My target is to put books in those places where kids can't get it. Very good. Uh, so. I want to put books in camps and hospitals and villages mm. where kids are because at those places there are few of books or there are no books. Uh, so, but I need a foundation. Mm -hmm. I can tell writers to give me their books and I could put it in those places and buy stories and those stuff. Uh, so when I take it there, they can all read it and they can have fun reading the books. Because if I do that, that's a really good thing because books are really, really important. I completely agree. Yeah. Now you've been reading for a while, haven't you? Yes. I know. And you're gonna continue reading for your whole life, do you think? Yes, reading is really fun. Uh -huh. I have a huge bookshelf at home and I really, re really like reading. Well, that's Kurdish amazing. and English. So amazing, it's perfect, it's perfect and it makes you curious, doesn't it? You want to keep yeah. reading more and learning about more things. And the secret is you have to keep reading in life and keep learning new things. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Because that's really, really important it's for really education. Important. For education. And, yeah, imagination. You can use your imagination. You can, definitely. Do you, do you, do you use your imagination when you're reading? Yes. A lot? 
For example, when I read a word and then I try to imagine what the next word would be, what the other character would do next. Mm, exactly. Yeah, because I really like reading books. I know. It's wonderful, Yara. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. thank you. And, and I love your I love your idea. I think that's a really good uh, plan. Yeah. You've and got some really good ideas in there. And I even like drawing. That's why I drew it. Your drawing, I mean, that helps me understand what yeah. you're trying to accomplish. I love it. I Thank love you. it a lot. Thank you. And I have another riddle for you. Oh boy. This I uh, Craig, you're gonna get me. You're gonna trick me. Keep our left. Yeah, but it. this one is a little hard because oh, the word is Kurdish. Oh, okay. So what is this word? It has fifteen dots. Oh, fifteen dots. Let me give you a clue. Okay. It's a Kurdish food. Is it kufta? No. Is it dolma? No. <laughs> oh, I give up. What is it? It's palpina batish. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. All yeah, because right. <laughs> you won't have a sunburn at summer. Oh. And you won't get hot. That's oh. really useful. Well, that's good to know. Do you like Kurdish food? I love Kurdish food, absolutely. Which is your favorite? Well, I just told you. Kofta and Dolma, I think. Yes, <laughs> I love those too. Right? They're delicious. And they rice really is are. really good. Chicken oh, is really good. The rice is so yeah. delicious, absolutely. And I love Kurdish food. And I really like Kurdish clothes too. They're beautiful. Yeah. They really are beautiful. They're colorful and really pretty. Um, I completely agree. I've just been so amazed by how pretty uh, the, the ladies' clothes are. They're yeah. Pretty, absolutely. Yeah, but the ladies' clothes have a lot of stuff. They've got colors and sparkles and poofy things and yeah. all kinds of stuff is going on. And I, I yes, very beautiful. Absolutely. They're very beautiful. Yeah, I agree. What do you think Kurdish kids have uh, what do you think American kids have but Kurdish kids don't have? They think are really important that Kurdish kids would have. Hmm. I don't know. I think there's a lot of similarities between American kids and Kurdish kids. Um, probably a lot more similarities than differences. Um, I think uh, you, you like to have fun and you like to learn new things and you like to meet new people and see new things and... Uh, um, I think we have all of these things in common. Yeah. Yeah. Can you talk about some time that you had really, really fun, a really fun time, or you laughed a lot? Oh my goodness. Um, well, I'm lucky uh, here in the Kurdistan region because I get to go to many different places and see many different things. And I have clowned Mount Safin, and I have you know, seen, walked across the Lal Bridge in Zako, and I have, uh, oh, I climbed, I got, I got to see the Chwarstin Cave in uh, Dahuk, and uh, I had ice cream afterwards, of course, that was Yeah, fun. ice cream is really Absolutely, good. absolutely. Oh, and I got to climb Kala in Acre uh, during Nauru's, of course, I had to eat ice cream after that too. Yeah, you're having Because I like the ice cream, right? You had a really fun time. All those places. <laughs> absolutely. And then after that, ice cream. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Yar, I was recently in the United States visiting my family and I was thinking of you because I really enjoyed meeting you the last time and I brought you a couple presents. I did too. Would it be okay for me to give you a couple presents? <gasps> yes, thank you so much. <laughs> okay, I've got a bag right here. Now, the first thing I thought would be kind of fun is, just so you can remember our meeting, um, I brought you an American flag. Oh, thank you so much. Maybe you could put it like, I don't know, in your, in your bedroom or something like that. And yeah, then I will put it. I decided, since you're such a clever reader, and, and an amazing translator, and you've got all of these great ideas for what to do with books. I thought I should bring you some books too. So, uh, these are Thank for you. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. Thank you. I love them. All right. And there's lots of different kinds, and I hope you like the stories too. I really like them. Thank you so much. You're but very, they're very a lot. Welcome. Well, 
That's a lot of reading you have to do. Okay, I'll do it. And you also have this plan to give books away, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe you could read them and then share them with other people too. Okay, that's a great idea. Is that a good idea? Now, there's a lot of candies in here too that you know have American flags. All I over love them. candy. <laughs> okay. Thank you. And I think maybe you could even share them with your sister. What do you think? Okay, I'll all share right. them. All right, very good. And lastly, because you're so clever in your writing, I think you need some pens that say Thank United you. States Consulate on the side of them. Okay. Okay. Very good. I am. Having fun with you. Thank you for me inviting too. me. Me too. Thank here. you so much for inviting me. Absolutely. But I have to go. <gasps> okay. But can you sing me a song before I go? A song? Yeah. <sighs> like a song that American kids like to sing? Yes. Uh, I guess I could. I don't do this very often, you know, but for you, I'll do it. All right? Okay. Do you know the song Old MacDonald? It's about a Farmer. Yes, I know it. Well, okay, then maybe you could even help me because it goes Old MacDonald had a farm, e -I -E -I -O. E -I -E -I -O. and on this farm he had a pig, e -I -E -I -O. E -I -E -I -O. with a oink oink here and, and an oink oink there, here and an oink, oink there, and an oink everywhere, and oink oink. oink. Old, Old MacDonald had a farm, E I E I O. And on this farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo moo here and a moo moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Thank you so much for that song. I loved it. I enjoyed singing it with you, and thank you. And I really like animals too. Do you? Yeah. Oh, me too. Absolutely. Which is your favorite animal? Well, in the, in the United States, you know what's popular? Dogs. What? Everyone has pet dogs or pet Yeah, they're cats. so cute. They can be cute, especially when they're puppies or kitties, right? Yeah. Absolutely. And um, yeah, so I would say dogs and cats are my very favorite. Okay, but I have to go now. Thank you for all the presents. Well, thank you so much for inviting me onto your show, and I wish you and all of the children of the Kurdistan region a bright and prosperous future. Thank you so much. Good job. Thank you so much for inviting me. I'm really, really happy. And thank you for all the presents. And I love the candies too. I'll take it to my friends too. And for my friends at school and for my friends that I play with them outside. Thank you so much. And I'll put this flag right next to my room. I'll always look at it so I remember you. And thank you for the candies and the books too. But I have to go now. Okay. Bye. Bye. My binoculars, take me back to my room. One, two, three. Bakari the Hanem, Washwani Dur Darwanam, Her Kasekum Hoshpure, Su de Kamba Miwanam, Her Kasekum Hoshpure, Su de Kamba Miwanam. Kibo Mendal do Sospe, Bakaru Chala Kihoi, Zumi Durbina came in. Bakhirai darwat boy, they come by me one year, bum durbina rasto ko, pashan baho shavisti, the karina guftu go, the karina guftu go.